beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. Today's not a true bling bling, but we're going to do something with some mica powders, some mica flakes, I should say, chameleons. And we're going to attempt this. This is the mold from Julie, from Julie's, uh, from Pour Your Heart Out. This is a drizzle or druzy, probably saying it wrong. I want to try it properly. So I did it all black. Not sure if that's how it's supposed to look. I have it just clear. Again, not sure if that's how it's supposed to look. So today we are going to put four different mica powders in here. One is going to be flakes. One is going to be a chameleon from Lars Art Corner, and the other two are going to be the chameleon powders from Let's Resin. So, with that being said, I'm going to just, just going to bring you right on down. We're going to get into this, and when we're getting done getting all of this in, we're going to go upstairs and get my resin out of its bath. I'm just going to bring you in, see if we can, and of course my little my little remotes sometimes works and sometimes does not there we go so we are here we are good so i have this mica powder from laura's art corner it is called celestial and it's it's a flake which is really hard to apply because it is flaky it is chunky it is everything all together so we'll see what I can do without making a mess. Look, oh, I forgot I zoomed in. That is gorgeous. So I'm gonna to attempt to lightly put some in here. It might not work because it's flaky, it's chunky, but we're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna to attempt to Kind of goes everywhere so it's hard that's why when i did the um the let's resin the chameleon i didn't open any of them because it's hard because it flies everywhere because oh! i don't want it in the other ones right i'm just kind of tapping it in so it gets in there so that is all i'm gonna do let me just put my lid on so i don't get it in the other ones let me get my tape and I'm going to attempt to pull it off all the sides. I think we did it. I think we did it. Now that is going to look kind of cool, I think. Okay, so next, this one also is from Laura's Art Corner. It is the Chameleon. It is from Let's... I think it's Let's Resin. Let me just Lorez. Sorry, it's Lorez. It is the Chameleon Powder, and this one is the Violet Indigo Blue. And with that, I will be using this little brush, just a little makeup brush. And I'm gonna try to cover, let's do this, so I can put it in without attempting to get it everywhere else. And you just wanna rub it. And when you see, I'll show it to you. I'm hoping it comes up. It is shiny wherever it goes because it's white, you can kind of see where everywhere it went. And you don't want to overdo it because you don't want the loose ones to float up in your resin, right? Let me just 
a little bit there. I'm just going to give it a shake and officially I'll rub it all in there. Can you see where it's shine? Like this one, you don't have any in. And can you see how it's shiny? And that way you know it's all there. Like me, I'm not all there, but it's all there. <laughs> now, and the other ones, we're going to attempt to do two of these ones. So these are from Let's Resin. These are the chameleon powders. And I'm trying to think. This one is blue. I like this one. This one is cayenne and this one is fuchsia. So we're going to use those two. I made an executive decision. I'm just going to open it up over here. So that one is cayenne. And again, these are from Let's Resin. And we're going to put it in. Oh, it's going to be pretty. so I can work it in. There we go. And we are done with that one as well. So I'll make sure it's in all those crevices. That's why these little brushes are awesome. This one came with my Chameleon Flakes. That's that put these two in here so I know I didn't use them. And this is the little kit that I got. Chameleon powders. <clears throat> All right. And this one is cayenne. Look at that. Look at that. It's Sherry's blue green. So I'm just brushing off my brush on my little puppy pads that I got underneath just to make sure I don't have the same the color in the other one. Oh, these are so pretty. We go we're all done awesome almost tempted to put some of that in this I don't know we'll see we'll leave that flakes the way it is so I'm gonna go up and get my resin I'm gonna mix up I can't remember how much it takes but I will mix up I'm gonna say probably four ounces just because it's sherry and she tends to over mix but I think they look pretty so this is the um the chameleon powder from let's resin and it is the violet indigo blue this one is from Laura's art corner again this is the celeste celestial mica flakes and then these are the two chameleons this one is fuchsia this one is cayenne did i say that right yeah cayenne um and these are both from let's res or let's resin and this is from <laughs> see my brain is not working at all this one is from la res my apologies. And it's from Laura's Art Corner and from Michelle. I just wanted to do you, do you, show you a quick little what I did here before I go upstairs. So these were the heart molds that I did. I had the extra glitter. I did a little bit of a paint job with that. I did my nail polish on the back. And then you could just do a little bit of a UV resin and cure it and you're good to go. I just thought it was kind of cute it'll give that little bit of color. So with that, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to go upstairs and 
mix my resin up and unmix my brain so I can actually talk. And I'll be back in just a couple minutes. We're going to put some black in here with some resin. I'll see you in a minute, guys. And of course, my button don't work. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I am back. Now, I just wanted to, we'll go through this. I am always using, uh, this is Crystal Resin. It is a, this, this is their um, original two-part epoxy resin. And please, when I mixed, I was using my respirator. I have my air purifier on in my basement. So when you do this, please, please be mindful and wear your PPE. Always mindful. Safety first. But I'm choosing not to wear the mask because I'm coming back and I'm telling you what's going on here. So in that long winded exit entrance i'm going to i mixed up four ounces of resin i'm gonna put in some of my black pigment paste from crystal resin and i forgot how messy my container is it is everywhere i am gonna get another stick because i do not like to contaminate my pigments I'm getting a stick out so I can wipe this one off. And I always try to do this as I'm going because that way you have no worries with the um, cleaning off of your sticks and everything. All right, here we go. I always give it a stir because things settle. Things don't stay mixed up sometimes. And I want it to be opaque. So I'm taking whatever I have on my stick, putting it in my four ounces. And I think that will be good. And I'm going to wipe off the outside of my container because I'm making a mess all the time. Like, look at the container. Look at the condition. All right. And I want to wipe my gloves off so I don't get it everywhere else. Oh, look at that. And I'm moving it everywhere. <laughs> oh, my, my. Anyways, we'll do one more shot here, guys. I just don't want to get it everywhere. Too funny. The story of my life. All right, we're going to mix this thoroughly. in each one I'm going to give it a second just to see if it sinks a little bit because it has to go into all those little grooves and we'll see. Give it a second and then if not, I'm putting some in my cat. Um, I don't know. I do have a lot left in there, don't I? I will have to find something to put it in. All right. So I'm going to, first of all, use my little, little wee torch. Purchased this one at the dollar store. And it's, it wasn't a dollar. It was $8.99. <laughs> but I like it because it's, it's very small. Ooh, you can see that chameleon from Let's Res, La Res. Oh my goodness. I apologize, guys, about that. Mixing up names. That's awful. I'm getting old. I'm getting old and forgetful. What I'm going to do is, because I have these, I've purchased these as well. I'm going to fill these up with what I have left of my resin. And we'll see if they what they come out like. Because I'm 100% sure I have enough in there. 
We'll put them over here so you can see. And let's go. Now, I never even thought, I still have enough and I have two more of these, three more, four more. I'm wondering, let's do this one and I'm going to put some chameleon, I'm going to do this one, I'm going to put some chameleon powder in it. Let's do... There's one there. I'm going to put this one in because it just looks crazy from the side here. And I'm just going to go in and put it all in here. See, I bought these molds because I was wanting to do... I've got a huge custom geode three-piece canvas that I'm supposed to be doing and I have I just haven't got the time to do it at the moment and I feel bad it's for my cousin and it's just oh so I bought these to try and make my own stones for it so all right so that is the from Lorez this is the uh the pigment the powder again I'm gonna just Give a quick shake, and then we're going to dump the rest of this in there, hopefully. Boop -a -doop. And then I'm going to throw the rest of my cat. We'll have a black and white cat. Oh, that's too funny. Not even enough to finish. Um, I'm just going to get the scrape this out here. Maybe we can... I don't know if you're seeing that or not. Maybe we can get them all topped up. Ah, not quite, just about, almost. Okay, so I'm going to give <clears throat> these little guys a, just a little zap. And we'll do this one more time. Oh, look, you can see the pigment coming through. And then now I'm going to finish it off with my 99% isoprofen alcohol, if I'm saying it right. We're going to do a squirt there. Let me get it going first, because you don't want to... Here it doesn't matter, I suppose. But if you're layering your stuff, like in the pyramids, you don't want to put so much of this, because you do leave sometimes a little bit of a film. So with that, I'm going to love you, leave you, go to work, and hopefully when I come back, this will be good to unmold. So, there we go. Clean, clean, clean. And the same people are asking about cleaning out these. All I do is I take two or three of my wipes. Because I love these containers to use, but they're so hard to clean. So I just do this. I try to get what I can out with a wipe. And sometimes... You get it all, and sometimes you don't, especially if you use glitter. Look at that. Would have never known there was black in there. And then what I also do is I usually have a bottle. I'm going to squirt my alcohol in here. And paper towel. And that's kind of how I finish that. I'll 
give it like that. And we are clean, so to speak. All these little ridges sometimes get really dirty, but that came out pretty clean. So there you go. That's how I clean some of these. I will do a video on mixing and showing you how to clean because I haven't done one yet. And look at that. I took my one glove off. I still have the other one on. I'm going to give this another spritz. Do not use this after you use this. This will catch this on fire. I'm pretty sure it was in a video. There's all these little bubbles that I'm going to burst. Let me get out. <laughs> I take the biggest thing I have. I'm going to try and pop There's some here as well. It's just when you have all those little wee grooves, you're going to end up with bubbles coming up because your resin's trying to work its way into all those little holes, right? I'm going to just... There we go. All right, guys. I'll put my cover over top and I will see you after work. See you in a bit, guys. Button is gone again. Here we go. Bye. Hello, I'm back from work. Oh my goodness. I apologize. I pulled these out first. They turned out pretty cool. Next time I will put pigment in these. That's awesome. And we'll pull this one out. And it's like... Oh my goodness, look at that one. That one turned out amazing. Pretty cool. All right, let's get at this one. I'm excited. Wow, look at that. Pretty sweet. Trying to get it to focus, guys. My apologies. Let's get all of this stuff off here. Now, this is the one with the actual mica flakes. That is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And that one's the chameleon powder. Fuchsia. Cayenne. Oh, no, this one's the cayenne. And they're black on the back. Pretty cool. This one is the the one from Let's Resin from Larez. Oh my goodness, I'm saying it again. This is the one from Larez. This is the one from Laura's Art Corner. And actually, Michelle gave me one. I have two of them. Pretty cool. Now I have to go find my bezels to um, put them on the back. We're going to paint maybe some gold and silver on the sides. I am over the moon impressed with this one. That one's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to find my bezels. Let's see if our little cat. This one's a hard one because its head is so big. I was afraid I'm going to rip it. But you have to get it past the head. <laughs> oh my. One ear. Oh, there we go. Once we get over that one ear, we're good. There we go. Look at that. That's cute. Black and white cat. Pretty sweet. Okay, so I'm going to go find my um, 
little things to glue on the back so we can make these some pendants, which is pretty sweet. And I'll be right back, guys. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I am back. I am just going to put edging on these. I'm going to do some with gold and some with silver. I'm a silver girl, so if I'm going to make these for a necklace, I would rather have silver. I can't find any of my bales. I have gone everywhere looking and I can't find them. So if you want to make this into a necklace, there are bales you can buy and it would be easy, but I just can't find them. Anyways, the story of my life. So I'm going to show you how to finish them. I have my two Krylon pens, one silver, one is 18 karat gold. So let's do the black. This one here had the, um, the celestial this flakes in it from Laura's Art Corner. So tap it down. Let me get a piece. <laughs> I'm not prepared, my friends. I'm just get a piece of paper towel and just dab it down to get it going. Woo, there we go. And I'm just going to, oh, wow, look at that. I didn't even have to do anything. It's really coming out. There we go. Sure, get it right to the edges. I guess I already primed that before I actually was on camera. There, edges look good. So now I'm going to bring it right to the top, onto the side <clears throat> where the it is all uneven. Perfect. And then I'm going to do a little, and make sure nothing on my finger, just a little on the inside. I don't know if that's picking up or not. Oh, it is. Awesome. Ooh, something's going on. This isn't working right. <laughs> it is leaking like crazy. Good for me because I want it to go in those crevices, but And just the tops a little bit. There. I think that looks pretty. I'm impressed with that. Nice gold around the edge. I only think I don't have any bales. Okay, so I'm going to set that down to dry. Now, me being me, I'm a silver girl, so I'm going to do silver on this. I could see me wearing those too. Here we go, guys. I always go, like with, here, I'm going to move this so it doesn't focus on that. I always go, if you're painting, go the center and out. And that way you don't get anything on the back sides. It's the same idea with a canvas. And then you have no cleanup later. Or you can just 
keep pumping it and it, <laughs> it just flows out. Awesome. Now let's get that to the other side. Awesome. And then this one I'm actually pressing down and letting it flow into those little crevices. <clears throat> go silver so done oh that's very pretty I like that guys it's still a little wet so I'm gonna give it a second or two to dry maybe too much do this one silver and then I'll come back with the um, the gold for that pinkish colored one let's just You could even drill a hole in these. You can make these as a keychain. I would even say maybe a pop socket, but I think it might be too big for the pop socket on your phone. All right, let me just make sure it's that way. I just want, there we go. And we'll do the top. These are adorable to do with, even with your extra resin. Because, you know, there's always extra resin. Well, now that I know how to properly do these with the pigment powder in it, I will be doing my drizzy, drizzy, drizzy mold inlay. I think I'll do that next. I think that'd be pretty. There we go. And that one's in silver. Now let me just get my hands because I know I got ink on the bottom. There we go. I think that turned out really pretty. All sparkly. Awesome. I'm just upset that, yeah, that one's too, too uniformed with the silver. All right, back to the gold. And we'll do this beautiful guy. And we are done. I'm tempted to do gold on that. Uh, this thing on the edge. I'm so sad that I didn't put the uh, pigment inside the other ones. Just a little. I just don't want to tap it on the edge. Oop. I had to trim this one up because when you're working with uneven things, um, the end of your tip of your marker pen, whichever you want to call it, becomes frayed. So I don't know if you can see how that one is a little frayed. And I just took my scissors and cut it off. So there we go. That's the other one. 
awesome. Very pretty. Yeah, I'm impressed how that turned out. That is pretty sweet. Reminds me of Game of Thrones with all those things. And the black is pretty as well. I just wish I would have put some pigment in that so for next time. And of course, our little, little black and white kitty. That's cute. So with that, my amazing people, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Sorry, it is not a traditional bling bling, but you got some bling in here, friends. That is beautiful. So with that, I hope you have an amazing Sunday. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit, if you have not yet subscribed, please, please think about subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications for when I put up my next video. And as always, I have everything I use today in the links in the description box. And also I have the links of where to purchase Tri Art Liquid Glass. I have the links to Crystal resin which we used here today my discount code oh sorry my discount code is sherry molten five capital s capital m and also i have the links to where to purchase julie's amazing molds it is also in the description box which i used here today also i have the links to let's resin with a discount code of sherry m10 capital s capital m and Last but not least, my two amazing Lorez distributors. I have Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. And it's funny because they both sent me the same product. So I have two of these. So one came from Michelle. So from Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Use my discount code is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, where I got this Lorez pigment and also this mica flakes and go check out her website my glitter guru um capital letters all capital letters sherry molten 10 and with that i have my paypal link if you choose to donate and help me support my channel and this is where i get bought my molds from and also i have my amazon affiliate links so with that long way to exit my amazing people hope you have an amazing sunday and i'll see you guys in the next one love you guys bye